So what's good, YouTube? I just had a hemorrhoid surgery or hemorrhoidectomy maybe on Wednesday. I had it at like 8 a.m. And uh, they let me go probably around like 11. Um, it's no joke. I promise you. I wasn't even going to make videos, you know what I mean? But I, I've seen people make videos and those videos have helped me through my process. Um, I think another thing that I see with videos is that people have different pain levels. My pain came from me, um, how do you say it? Um, having like cramps and muscle spasms in my stomach. So it wasn't even like the pain of the area being sore or hurt as much as it was my body telling me that it wanted to poop, but I couldn't poop. Um, I, when I would sit on the toilet and I guess spread the area open, um, that pain was no joke. And that's where I would get the burning pain because I could literally feel like my stitches were like separating. So I would feel like a little liquid drop I can't tell you the truth if that was poop or just blood because I would see a little bit of blood in the toilet and then I would immediately jump in a cyst bag. I'm not going to tell you to um, get it in um, scalding hot water, but the hotter the water, the better. You get what I'm saying? I tried to do it in just like warm water because uh, I know like bacteria thrives in like warm, moist settings. It didn't work. The hotter the water, the better. Um, I know I'm everywhere because I just took some medicine. So like, it's about to kick in, but, um, I just want to give you my journey as far as the process of this hemorrhoids, because it's no joke. I'm a 32, 32 year old male. Um, I, I didn't eat right all my life. And I used to work out a lot when I was in the Navy and like that squatting and straining and all that, it was no joke. Um, but this is my second day post-op. The only pain that I feel is the feeling of my bowel movements trying to happen and it not happening. That's the only pain that I feel. It's like a slight burning sensation, but whenever I do try to go use the restroom, it's, that's the pain that I feel. Because I'm not saying that I'm forcing or pushing. More so, it's just me sitting there for five minutes because I have a timer on and nothing happening and like guess my butt being open and nothing happening so like my body is telling my butt to relax my butt is saying like no we have to use the restroom i don't know how it looks down there but to me what it feels like is even when i farted or passed gas excuse me um that that felt like i, I could feel that you know what i mean and um I swear that the area is like this type, you know what I'm saying? But um, I haven't had my bowel movement yet. I've tried numerous times, nothing has happened. And it's weird because even when I urinate, it takes a while to urinate. And um, my body is so like tense that when I, when I first start to urinate, it's a muscle, like the sphincter muscle or something. And it like, it like, Titans, and I can feel the pain in my butt. I don't know how to describe what I'm trying to say, but that muscle where when you got to pee and you're trying to hold it, imagine that muscle being like in pain or not in pain, but like impacted by the surgery. Um, hopefully I have a bowel movement. I'll let you guys know. Like I said, it, the main thing with me is, is that if I pass a bowel movement, I think that I'll be okay. But I haven't passed one yet, so um, that's my only fear. Everything else I've, I've managed, I've walked around, I've uh, sat on the couch, I've done little things. But um, I just wanted to give an update, gain some clarification. Um, I'm not saying that, like I said, everybody that I see is mostly like scary horror stories. So if I could provide you with context that's not as bad i hope it helps i'm on my stool softeners 
Um, I'm drinking fruit juices. I'm eating fruits. I've only ate Popeye's mashed potatoes. I wanted to get KFC, but it had chicken in it. So I've ate that in soup. The soup to me, maybe it's my stomach, but the broth was making my stomach upset. So I don't know if my body was telling me that I was hungry, but instead of me having hunger pains, it was a different type of pain. It was almost like when I would eat the soup, my body was breaking it down weird. Um, but yeah, I'm on fruit juices, water, uh, Miralax. Um, they prescribe me Oxycontin, which I take every eight hours eight hours um Tylenol ibuprofen um and docusate and I, I have bacitracin or something like that so after every six bath I try to clean the area and put that ointment on there because I don't want nothing to happen to the area but um this is day two so I'll probably give y'all an update on day four and um if y'all going through this stick with it I can already feel my body um feeling better like i said i haven't had a bowel movement so i can't really tell but the normal hemorrhoid feeling that i felt i don't feel that no more i had two major external hemorrhoids with the fissures and i have an internal but the internal is so small and my doctor told me that with the right diet and change within six months to a year that hemorrhoid could go away and trust me i'm gonna make that hemorrhoid go away so y'all stay Y'all stay uh focused. Y'all stay um y'all stay blessed and um I keep y'all in the loop. I'm about to take a nap. Like I said, this medicine's kicking in, but I just want to give more context to the situation.